cars. Turbo Star Race, anybody? With the race signalling, that's now possible. In this video, you'll see some of the new changes at Derby after the main part of Derby race signalling. Okay, so if we look up north, the line isn't open yet, but we can see new platform starting signals. Platforms one and two have been moved even further back than where they used to be. Platform three and four B at the end of the platform. If we pop round to platform five, old six, we'll see a freight wagon or so. Currently, 7B is closed off as it's a terminal platform at the moment. There's this temporary car and selective door. No public car from that point, so I'm not going to go there. So there's platform 5B and 6B starting signals. A couple of freight wagons stopping them as buffers. Across there, the signal on 7B, like we say, is currently not in use because 7 is a bay platform at this moment in time. If we spin around, we can see the new 6, 7 across the other side of the station there. Platform 5A holds the new up trains during the resignaling project. So not really, well, actually, tell a lie, a fair bit's changed this side. Now we'll take you back up the south side of the station and then across to platform 6 and see what's changed there. Okay, we've just now walked from the north side of the station onto the south, and as you can see, the signals are on a great big gantry a lot further back than they used to be, extending all platforms slightly. Currently, during resignaling works, like we say, Newark trains are off five, all London's are off six, and crew are off 1A. Right where we're walking now is where the old bay platform used to be, 4 5, which has now moved across to old 6 here. just walk back up north for a second we see the the brother and sister that just raced into the station five minutes ago one for nottingham and one for birmingham they'll be the nottingham and birmingham pair if you don't know a timetable the nottingham birmingham's leave here at 12 10 and the birmingham nottingham's leave here at 1208 there's a meridian and etches park at the far side but yeah we'll walk up here properly now because we've got all public access and see the far side of the station. There was an old Derby Midlands sign replaced here, but that's gone now. Here's the new seating on the new platforms. The disabled one specifically for wheelchairs or walking stick figures only. If you're a space alien, if you're a space alien, the seat's not for you apparently. Slightly discriminatory. Here's a set of floodlights whilst they finish some of the work up this side. As we walk further up, here's a meridian to form the 1231 East Midlands train service to London St Pancras International. As we walk up to far side of 4A. Okay, platform 3 is ready for the Nottingham train. Oh, I mean, it's going to take a reverse signal.
2019 from London St. Patrick's International. As goes out the 1208 cross country service from Birmingham New Street to Nottingham. As also in comes in 66721 from Toton. I don't think the tube is at Derby, although up there is a pair of class 20s and a tube stop. So in conclusion, of us, as of Saturday the 8th of September, Five. So in conclusion, Derby resignaling is most of the way there. We just got the block at Amb after the platforms as far as Ambergate and Chesterfield until the 8th of October. Everything else is in working order and has been signed off. So before we end this, we're going to see the 1212 East Midlands train service to Newark Castle. Also, any through services for either Nottingham or South or North. Well, crews are bone for platform one permanently now. Matlocks are bone for five. London bone for six. Three and four, whatever's available, one for eight, eight five, six.
Thank you for watching this update video of Derby Re-Signalling.